it checks almost every box that you would want to check, but for a fraction of the price. Hello guys, Sam here from Growbots and today I'll be taking a look at the latest Viper Spectra XS 4000. So this is the latest model from Viper Spectra, as you guys might know. Viper Spectra is a Chinese LED grow light company. It used to make really, really affordable grow lights. However, these grow lights were mostly blur poles, as we call them. They were really, really uh, affordable. So they've been out there for a while now, really popular company. And this is their latest model. They've upgraded to white light full spectrum. So they're up to date with the latest technology. And uh, I'm excited to see uh, what we got here. So. I'll first start by unboxing this. Uh, a lot of people underestimate the importance of having a proper packaging. So uh, I just wanna show you guys how it's shipped and uh, so you guys can take a look at this. So we got the first box here and we got a, we got a double box situation here. So I'll just remove this like that. We'll open the second box here. Okay, well, it seems we almost have a triple box situation. So, in terms of packaging so far, I don't have anything negative to say. Here we go. So, comes with these rope ratchets, again, this is always a must. It's now included in pretty much every grow light you buy, but it's always a nice uh, little feature here to have those. We got some wires to hang it as well. So a nice customer service here, we got this little card from Viper Spectra saying we're happy. Uh, and inside you got their information where you can contact their support. I've been dealing with Viper Spectra for a while now. They're a great company, they'll definitely help you. So in terms of customer service, uh, it's a really great, uh, a great light so far. We got the pamphlet here with all the information we need. And I'll just discard this box so we can take a look at the light itself. All right, so here it is. It's wrapped in plastic to make sure everything is on point. So again, in terms of packaging this light, they, they've gone above and beyond, to be honest. And here. So here we go. This is the Viper Spectra XS4000. This is their new flagship model, I would say. Um, the light itself draws about 480 watts um, with an efficacy around 2.7. Again, um, this is always you know changing depending on where you get your information from. Uh, but we got the Samsung LM301B diodes, uh, which makes sense uh, for that 2.6, 2.7 uh, efficacy. So it's uh, mentioned here the LM301B, uh, like most up-to-date LED grow lights, white light full spectrum that are similar to this one. We have four types of diodes here and we even have um, the deep red diodes. So there's not much of those deep red diodes, but enough to mention that it's, uh, it's going to affect the spectrum in a positive way. The light itself claims to cover a four by four area, but the design itself, you, you can, you can guess that it's not going to cover optimally a 4x4 area so i would probably suggest to use this light in a maybe using two of those lights uh, for bigger areas i guess maybe like in i don't know i mean i'll have to look into this and why they advertise it uh like that um uh, but that's kind of like the the, the bit that bothers me here um uh, it's that rectangular design however it can be suitable for for many different purposes so some of you guys might prefer the fact that it's rectangular like this whereas uh, you can find um uh, square 
uh, shaped LED grow lights out there that, that are more optimally designed, I would say, for, for square areas. But for rectangular areas, this light's gonna do a great job, I guess, and uh, you can always put two. It's gonna give you a nice cover for a bigger area, like I said. Now, um, the build itself, if we look at it, we can see there's a nice coating on these diodes. So, you know, to make sure that it's uh, IP rated. Now, how? so it's rated at IP65, which is a little bit less than other lights that uh, are similar to this one, but it's still pretty good. So you don't have to be afraid of using this light into a grow tent, into a humid environment. IP65 is a uh, pretty good standard here. Um, I'm just gonna turn this light so we can see the top which is quite interesting here. And I think that's really where Viper Spectra is standing out right now. There are two major aspects. And the first one, and the most important one being the heatsink. So the heatsink is way better than almost any other Chinese LED grow light of the kind. They've upgraded this heatsink to not only include a thin aluminum panel, but they also have these fins uh, here, uh, which you can which you normally see on, on higher quality grow lights. Um, this type of design really helps into uh, dissipating the heat and preserving the diodes efficacy and everything. So um, they advertise this light uh, to be able to uh, run for about 50,000 hours, which is pretty much the regular uh, number of hours that you that we've seen that we've seen for um, lights of this sort. Uh, but I guess you can always, you know, use it longer. Um, yeah, so pretty much that's pretty much it. Uh, the second thing are going to be those drivers. So they're using mean wheel drivers, um, which is pretty standard, uh, but again, for a good reason. These drivers are really good, they're durable, and I mean, they, they just, they're, they're affordable as well, so they make the overall light pretty affordable for what it, it can give you, right? Um, now, this design of wiring uh, has this central piece here, and we also have a dimmer on the side here right there so it's, uh, it's good that they thought about it I mean dim dimmers are are, are important you, you want to use the light uh, at different intensities depending on the growth stage that you're at so obviously the fact that this is a white light full spectrum I'll include the uh, the spectrum chart uh, in the video so you guys can take a look at it uh, but pretty much like other lights of this type uh, you can use this for both veg and flowering uh, because of that full spectrum that you get uh, from these four Samsung LM301B diodes. Uh, well, the Samsung LM301B diodes along with those far red diodes and red diodes. Let's plug this light and see how bright it is. All right, so there we have it. It's looking actually really good. So you can see there's a nice distribution here between those uh, bluish kind of white diodes and those uh, reddish or orange kind of diodes here, the LM201Bs um, with the central red diodes that you get here. Now, I'll just tune it up to the maximum to see. So it was at the minimum here, which is 5%. And you can go all the way up to 100% and I can tell you this light is really bright it is really bright so in terms of the intensity uh, we'll be doing a review in the near future uh, we'll be doing a review of this light inside of a tent uh, we'll have some uh, you know, we'll get you a, a chart, our chart, uh, for these uh, PAR ratings. Um, but I'll also include the uh, PAR rating that Viper Spectra already did um, here, so you can take a look at it. Um, I mean, there's there's no question here. The light itself is, is pretty intense. Um, and 
for 480 watts. Um, this is what you would expect from a light. Now the price point for this light, however, is really interesting. That's the major upside when you're looking for LEDs uh, from Chinese companies like this, is that you get what you pay for, you know? Um, and you get more than what you pay for, I would say, in some way. Uh, because you, you get good components, get good technology, good durability. It checks almost every box that you would want to check, but for a fraction of the price. So for hobby growers or even for commercial growers at some scale, you know, if you want to start with something that's affordable, again, this light will do a great job. But I definitely uh, recommend that you guys look into some higher end LED grow lights as well, because there are some out there that will be better than this one. But for the price, it is. It's definitely worth the money, I think. Now, um, maybe one downside that I would say for this light would be the lack of connectivity. So you don't have the RJ ports already integrated, like you can see on, for example, a Spider Farmer or higher end LED grow lights. Um, so it might be a bit more difficult if you want to daisy chain uh, these lights. I guess that's more marketed towards hobby growers who will use only one unit. So I guess that's why they didn't think it was worth adding uh, this type of feature. Uh, but I think it's always uh, interesting to have, you know, the, the opportunity to buy a light and then connect it to other lights. Uh, I don't say it's impossible. It can be done for sure. But uh, I mean, it's not as easy as you as you would have uh, with any other lights. So here we go. That's pretty much it. Um, Thank you guys for tuning in today. Um, don't forget to subscribe, uh, like this video, and um, like I said, we'll be doing some reviews of these lights, uh, comparing them with other lights similar in the future. So if you need some information, you think I missed any point in this video, make sure to ask me in the comments. I'll be looking at those and making sure that I include this information in the next video. Um, as usual, thanks for being here and I'll see you next time. Thank you.